Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to share with you five tips to help you score more headers. The first tip I have for you might sound really obvious, but it's so important to remember, which is to keep your eyes on the ball at all times and also remain on your toes because if the ball's being crossed in, it might change flight at any moment, it might have spin on it, it might catch a gust of wind, which can change the flight or direction of the ball. So it's hard to predict exactly where the ball is gonna land, but if you remain on your toes and keep your eyes on the ball, you can adjust the flight of the ball at any second and still meet it for the header. The second tip to get the cleanest possible header is to meet the ball in the center. So you have to get level with the flight of the ball. If the ball's too low and you get over it, the ball's just gonna go straight into the ground. If you're backpedaling and you get underneath it, it's just gonna go straight up into the air. So depending on the angle of the ball you connect with determines the flight of the ball. So if you wanna get a nice, clean, straight header with power, hitting through the center of the ball is gonna have the best effect. The third step is generating the necessary power to beat the goalkeeper. So there's two things we can do to generate power behind the ball. The first is to bend our back backwards so that we can extend forwards. Think of it almost like a shooting technique. You first have to flex the leg backwards and then swing it through. That's where the power comes from. Almost like a bow and arrow. If you think about pulling that string back, the further back you pull the string, the further forward the arrow is gonna go. So you're gonna first bend backwards and then you're gonna come forwards and that's gonna give the momentum and generate the power through the ball. Another way we can generate power is to use our arms as well. So you can use that as a technique to generate more power. So drive your arms towards you while you're driving your head forwards. The fourth step is the area of the head we're gonna make contact with. And we're gonna use the forehead. It's the widest and flattest surface area you have. So it's gonna give a cleaner connection on the ball, which is gonna generate more power and accuracy by the header. If you use the temple, it's gonna be painful and also not generate the power or accuracy. So practice around with this and you'll find that the forehead provides the cleanest surface area to generate the most effective header. And the final tip is our follow through. So just like a shooting technique, we always want to follow through, which is gonna give the ball more accuracy so we can put it in the area of the goal, most difficult for the goalie to save. So let's take this side of the goal here, the right hand side, the ball's just been crossed in, the goalie's moved across, so I wanna head it back in the direction that the goalie just came from. So what I'm gonna do is put all the previous steps together. So I'm on my toes, I'm gonna to meet the flight of the ball, jump if I have to so that I can get level with the ball so I can strike through the middle of it. I'm gonna use my forehead, I'm gonna bend backwards to then bend forwards. I'm gonna use my arms for momentum and I'm gonna head the ball. Then after I've made contact, I'm gonna move my head in the direction I want the ball to go. If you move it in the direction you want the ball to go, there's a lot more chance the ball's gonna travel in that direction. So just watch here as I head, in that direction, it goes right in the side netting. So here's a couple of bonus tips to help you be more successful with your headers. The first is don't be afraid. Don't close your eyes. Don't let the ball hit you. Attack it with confidence. If you attack the ball with confidence, hit it with the center of your forehead, it's not gonna hurt. But you need to make sure you're attacking the ball and not letting it hit you. The second tip is make sure you're heading the ball low if you're in close range. This is a lot more difficult for the goalie to save. They're relying on their reactions, so if they have to both react to the ball and get low to the ground, it's just gonna be a lot more difficult for them to save. So when you're close around the six yard box, head it into the ground and you're gonna find a lot more success finding the goal. And the final tip is to try and head the ball back in the direction that the cross came from. So if it's coming in from the right hand side, head it back into the right hand side of the goal because typically the goalie moves in line with the ball. So you're gonna use their momentum against them. It's a lot more difficult to save. Alternatively, you can glance the ball across goal by twisting and turning your head. It's a little bit more advanced, might require a bit more practice, but in most cases, heading the ball back where it came from is the most difficult for the goalie to save. So there we go guys, those are the five tips I have for you today to improve your heading technique. But the most important piece of advice I can give you is just be brave. Be confident going up to win those head balls and you're automatically gonna have a lot more success in front of goal. But if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you smash the like button, hit that subscribe button for weekly training videos and I will see you guys in my next video.